Hey guys, what's up? Ling Ling is back and today I've got an old dressed up just for you. Look, this is my Chinese qi pao. Qi pao is the word for traditional dress in Chinese. Is it nice? <laughs> okay, I've also brought a little flag just to make sure that everyone knows what we're talking about. Wow. So today we're going to talk about five reasons for going to China. And I tell you, I got five really, really, really good reasons why you should go to China. So reason number one, are you ready for an adventure? Are you ready for a challenge? Are you ready to get out of your comfort zone and try something new? Then China is definitely the right place to go for a real experience, an upside down adventure. The second reason, if you're up for an adventure for your taste buds as well, then there is another reason to go to China. Why? Because Chinese food is so diverse, like there are so many different types of Chinese food, especially like if you divide the country into different regions or provinces, then you can go to the spicy province and get like super spicy noodles, a spicy hot pot, or you can get the Beijing dub from Beijing, obviously. You can get the salty dumplings in northeastern China. You can go to the south and get more sweet food. There are so many options and there are so many different kinds of food to go and try. Are you ready to challenge your taste buds then China? And guys, another little extra tip when I'm talking about these food adventures, then another great thing about going to China is that you're gonna eat with chopsticks every single day. I gotta tell you that the first time I came to China, I had no idea how I was going to eat everything with chopsticks. So when I started eating, I ate so slowly because I was really, really trying hard to get every single piece of meat and rice on my chopsticks and eat it. And uh, yeah, that's a free diet as well. Yeah, so if you need another good reason to go to China, then a free diet. Who doesn't want that, right? <laughs> girls, I'm talking to you girls. <laughs> another reason to go to China. China! Reason number three. Oh, this is the Chinese three. I think we do this, but uh, the Chinese three is like this. Different ways of counting. Anyway, reason number three, China has 5,000 years of history. It also has 56 different minorities. Minorities, different kinds of people wearing different kinds of traditional clothes, eating different kind of food, have different culture and history. So that is another reason to go and explore. Okay, then we have reason number four. Reason number four to go to China is if you're really in love with like modern metropolitan cities like New York and London, but you can't afford to stay there, then Shanghai and Hong Kong is the next best choice. Why? Because they're so much cheaper. You know, you can take the bus in China for two kuai. Two kuai is very, very little. It's like 0.3 dollars. If you have a metro card or a bus card, you can go and take the bus or the metro four times for one dollar. Come on guys, why don't you want to go and see it then? And as I said, it's modern, so there are new toilets, no squatting, and also they have Wi-Fi everywhere, they have the biggest shopping malls, they have all the brands we know and tons of new brands to go and explore. So if you're ready for some shopping, Shanghai, Hong Kong, modern metropolitan cities. And last but not least, reason number five. So reason number five to go to China is memories. Are you ready for unforgettable memories? I tell you, this is both good, it's bad, it's weird, it's crazy, like 
funny stories to tell your friends, tell your families, put up great photos on your wall. Actually, I put up a photo this time. This is of the great wall and me. You probably can't see it from there, but it's a nice photo. <laughs> I was wearing flip flops on the wall. I'm not suggesting you to ever do that. That's like the hardest climb ever. Memories, 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 unforgettable memories of a new adventure in China. So that was all for today. Thank you guys for watching and please remember to give me a thumbs up and if you have any suggestions, any comments to my videos or any ideas of what I should talk about then please comment below. Until next time, see you guys, 再见! Mwah!